What's up, Media Ninja Squad? It's your boy Fierro Boy 86 coming back with a brand new video. So, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about five upgrades I think that you need to do to your earlier model Corvair. If you do not follow me on YouTube, Snapchat, or TikTok, please do so at Fierro Boy underscore 86. Also, please follow me on my brand new Instagram page at 214 Fierro Guy. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell because you know why? I'm the only guy that's going to bring you Corvair, Fiero, and car show content. Y'all already know, man. I'm, I'm going to keep on running it up too because at the end of the day, y'all got to hear this news. If y'all do not hear this news from me, then y'all not hearing no news. I'm just telling you. Most definitely. Also, please hit that like button for you, boy, because, man, hey, man, y'all already know, man. Hey, we, we up in the game, y'all. We are up in the game. Do y'all hear me? We are up in this game. All right, y'all. So, all right. So, number one, for your earlier model Corvair, the biggest upgrade I think you need to do is to change your generator into an alternator. Uh, I'm gonna explain the reason why. The reason why is because when um when you're talking about power usually a generator it'll give you you know the 80 amp or whatever that it is that it gives you out of the generator but with the alternator you can get that 100 amp or that 140 amp which in my opinion y'all i think that you really need to change your alternator to 140 amp so then you won't have to worry about power you won't have to worry about it connecting or anything and that right there was actually something that i had a problem with in my corvair when i had mines my generator was actually not connecting so i never did do the upgrade but i'm definitely telling y'all if you got an earlier model corvair 60 through 64 please do these upgrades because i'm going to tell you you're going to feel so much better about your car so number one is going to be a generator to an alternator number two is going to end up being your pulley system now with the pulley system you have mul multiple type of pulley systems for the corvair so you don't just have one you just don't have two you don't have three you don't have four you have multiple pulley systems and so like for instance whenever we're ready to look at the pulley that's on top usually that pulley on an earlier model corvair is open the reason why it's open is because what happens is that right that's how they designed it when it first came out and so when you start looking at 65 on up to 69 they actually enclose the top pulley so that right there is probably another big thing about your Corvair. So then what happens is you won't have to worry about, you know, as as we call the throwing belt syndrome, where, you know, your car is throwing belts, which it, it rarely happens on a Corvair. I'm just gonna just tell y'all that right now, but it does happen because you, you, you basically have a few things that uh, that really needs to be looked at when you are purchasing a Corvair, especially an earlier model, is you got to make sure that, that that belt is tight enough, but loose enough. Because if you over tighten it, now, you know what I'm saying, but now your belt is gonna, you know, it's gonna break on you, you know what I'm saying, while you drive. And then if you loosen it up too much, now you're gonna be throwing belt. So, that right there will probably be something that you really need to look at whenever you're ready to buy your earlier model Corvair is your pulley system. Making sure that that off your alternator or a generator or whatever that you're running on your car, make sure that that pulley is working, make sure the top pulley is working and make sure that, that your uh, passenger side, I call it the passenger side pulley is working as well as your, um, your harmonic balancer is what is what of course drives your car and so if none of that is changed or anything you can easily throw a bill so definitely look into upgrading your pulley system on your earlier model corvair all right y'all so this ride is going to end up being number three number three is going to end up doing a dual master cylinder now with corvairs earlier model corvairs they do not come 
with door master cylinders. They actually come with um with like single port master cylinders. And so with the braking power, depending on how long the car has been sitting, a lot of folks they still do use the single, but I'm telling y'all, you know, to be safe, to actually use the double port. Because what happens is you actually get that stopping power. You know, so you actually get that braking power, boom. Okay, my car is stopped, I'm good. Versus the single port, sometimes that single port don't work. You know, also when you are changing that, also upgrade your brake lines to stainless steel. Because with the, with like the rubber brake lines, they can, um, they can leak on you. You know, and with that right there being said, when they leak, you will never know because <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Because when you got rubber lines, you know things they 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 um they they kind of drop quick, you know. And so definitely, if you're talking about getting an earlier model Corvair, please do this upgrade. This is another big upgrade that I think y'all need to do. All right, y'all. Number four is going to end up being if you have a bench seat that is in your Corvair, please do bucket seats. The reason why I say bucket seats is because I actually owned the Corvair, which was a 700 coupe, and I actually owned a bent seat, and I did not like it. I repeat, I did not like it. The reason why I did not like the bent seating is because um, what happened was, every time you put something in the seat, it slide off, or, you know, now, don't get me wrong, bench seating is actually really, really easy to take out. I actually took out my front seat on my 700 and I took out my back seat on the 700. And so I did replace both seats, but I'm telling y'all as far as if you're looking for style, if you're looking to, to um, upgrade your car, if you're looking to do anything like that, please do double seating or bucket seats we're gonna say that do bucket seats so then what can happen is you can have that style you're looking for you can also put in a center console you can do all that please do these upgrades y'all i'm telling y'all because y'all are going to feel so much better all right y'all and my final upgrade for the chevrolet corvair please upgrade your chevrolet corvair to an ac car the reason why I say AC car, cause you know, like like with me, I did not have AC. I wish I did have AC in my car, but I did not have AC in my Corvair. And so, since I live in Texas, we already know how hot Texas can be. And without AC, you know, the car, it, it, it you know, what I'm saying it's already hot enough outside. And now you are hot with the car because now you don't have no AC in your hard top and so what happens is you know what i'm saying you sweating hard you know what i'm saying and your car is running good and you know you're trying to figure out what's going on please upgrade your car to an ac car please if you if you can find um there's like a lot of um parts stores on facebook that you can look up you know outside of clark's on on clark's um corvair parts there's like a lot of stuff that you can look up and see if you can find parts for an ac if you can't, I'm going to definitely tell you to upgrade your Corvair. I don't care if you got to build it. Build it. Whatever. Upgrade your Corvair to an AC car, y'all. Because this right here is going to help you out in the long run. This right here is going to make sure you're in a comfortable ride. Because most Corvairs does have heater. So you won't have to even worry about that, y'all. Well, this right here is the end of this video. Please let me know down in the comment section on what you think about this video. Please share this video with everybody because we want to see more Corvairs on the road. And so we have to share these videos, y'all. We got to get these videos out so we can get more Corvairs on the road. Because you know what? More Corvairs at car shows mean more people is going to come. I'm just telling y'all. Because if you don't see no Corvairs and no car shows and no Fieros and no car shows, it's just going to be normal people. Well, it's your boy Fiero Boy 86 and I'm out.